Hi, I'm Tamsin. Thanks everyone for coming today. So I was born into a non-Christian family and went to a boarding school where we had to attend church on a Sunday and I liked it. I'd had a secure and loving childhood until at 10 I was badly abused. This led me to drinking and making bad choices with men. It got progressively worse and at 15 I was smoking cannabis and taking cocaine. I left school at 16 with good Greek grades and did a BTEC in business and finance, working part-time with a firm of accountants. I felt my life was back on track. Tragedy struck again and as I was cycling back from work, I was hit by a bus head on. First reports were that it was fatal, but I survived. I had extensive head injuries and when I woke up, a policeman who'd witnessed it was sitting at my bedside. He said it was a miracle I'd survived. That was when I first realised God had intervened. I suffered post-traumatic stress disorder, became addicted to painkillers, which later, a chance introduction, led me to 10 straight years of being addicted to heroin. In those years, I knew God was quietly standing by, intervening when I'd overdosed, which I'd done 11 times. I met a man in rehab who was violent and made me do terrible things for him. And in 2006, he died, and I spent a lengthy custodial sentence as a result. I came out clean and got a job, but relapsed and was fired, and I started using heroin and crack again. By God's grace, I found him again, and in 2014, I went to church, mainly because my neighbours kept, kept asking me to give my life to Christ. I went just to shut them up, really. But while I, whilst I was there, I received some healing on my back. I was pain free for the first time in years. I carried on going for a while, but soon lost my faith after meeting a guy and giving him the money to set up selling amphetamine. I lost it all when he was raided, but being the silent partner, I escaped prison. Then I met Sam and quickly fell pregnant with my daughter. I was careful not to use in that time and Ruby Grace was born on the 15th of August, 2015. 5th of August, 2015. I couldn't have been much further from God until January 2018. I'd been in hospital in November and had gotten an infection with some hospital equipment, which lay dormant in my thigh. In January, laid up with flu for two weeks, the infection took hold. My leg was painful and I was desperate because the doctors kept saying I was fine. Three weeks later, I went to A&E and refused to leave until they investigated further. A blood test revealed I had sepsis and they fought for my life. Three operations later, I got gangrene in my thigh and after six operations and seven blood transfusions, I started to recover. John Ross would come into my room and pray with me. God yet again pulled me through and I knew I needed God in my life. But again, opiate dependent, I put God to the side and started using heroin again. I tried to care for my daughter, but I couldn't, so I gave her to my mum and so she told social services I needed help. I went and stayed with Sheila to try and get clean but no matter what I did I just got worse. I think I'd given up. Sheila said I had to leave and I went home and just cried out and read Psalm 102, Lord hear my prayer, listen to my plea, don't turn away from me in my time of distress, bend down and answer me quickly when I call to you for my days disappear like smoke and my bones burn like red hot coals. An old friend dropped by unexpectedly and I told him I was going to lose Ruby if I couldn't sort myself out and he told me to come and stay at his, that he wanted to help me. We prayed and I felt myself giving it all to Jesus. I decided I was going to fully surrender and give my life to Jesus. I did cold turkey, I'd done that before. It should have been agony but Jesus took most of that pain and sickness. I've not used heroin since the end of March last year and stopped smoking weed on August the 7th. I had my final court hearing on the 23rd of February and Ruby was returned to my soul care. We've moved house to my windows at the back, look out into a church. I struggle a lot, but God is holding my right hand. I have almost finished the Alpha course and when Graham spoke about Katie being baptised, I jumped at the chance. Today I'm being baptised as a sign that Jesus has washed my old life and mistakes away and is filling me and changing me day by day with his spirit. I know I'm not perfect, but
but God is so at work in my life. Please do pray that God will keep giving me his strength to live in a way that honours him and blesses all around me, which leads me to a verse which I want to share to you with you. It's Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who trust the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Thank you.